Damien coming to the stage. It's super funny, and he's a really good guy, and you guys are going to love him. Please join me in welcome to the stage, the very talented Andy McDonald! Thank you. Hey guys. Wow, this place is awesome. This is like a fight club, but for people who are like really into Wes Anderson movies. I feel like. yeah. <laughs> guys, um, I have an issue with CNN. CNN probably put the dumbest headline I've ever seen in my life on there. It was a picture of the guy from Duck Dynasty. Like, I didn't read what he said because a stupid person saying something stupid isn't news. I don't care what he has to say. But the headline said, was he just expressing his beliefs or spewing bigotry? Which, yeah, he was doing, doing fucking both of those things, you know? Like, I don't understand how the most trusted name in the news doesn't know the definition of the word bigot. The one thing that defines your bigotry is what you believe. And if you believe that gay people are witches who put a curse on your butt, then fuck you. You don't deserve to be on CNN. That's not how news works, in my opinion. Okay, that's the ranting part. My rant is over. Guys, um, I test video games for a living, and uh, we've been in crunch mode lately, which is where I work 70 hours a week. So I sit in a cubicle for 70 hours a week playing fucking video games. I had a day off a while ago. You guys want to know what I did with my day off <laughs> playing video games? Yeah, you guys know. Here's a hint. I didn't go to the gym. <laughs> I fucking sat in my underwear like the saddest Roman emperor you've ever seen, just playing Call of Duty all day. <laughs> I took a break from playing video games to play video games. That's my life. I've turned into the fucking Brooks from the Shawshank Redemption. Just that old man who just, after a lifetime of imprisonment, gets out of prison and has no idea what to do, so he hangs himself. That's my life right now. If you give me too many days off in a row, you'll just see me dead in my apartment and Andy was here. We'll be scrawled on my wall on nothing with nacho cheese. And that's it. That will be my legacy. Um, I also, I lived in Hawaii for about five years and, um, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful, magical place. It is. It's a beautiful, magical place full of methamphetamine. That's, that is what, the Hawaiian Islands are a bunch of floating meth crystals that a bunch of surfers decided to settle on. That's what they are. No, you know what they are? Hawaii is Gresham with palm trees. That's, what, that's all it is. <laughs> yeah. And um, you know, the only thing they love more than their methamphetamine in Hawaii is their fucking mayonnaise. Oh my god. Everything in Hawaii. Are you from Hawaii? Spam. Not yet. Spam. Fuck right. Fuck yeah, man. But mayonnaise, my god. Everything in Hawaii comes with a side of macaroni salad. And macaroni salad is just a bunch of fucking macaroni and a jar of mayonnaise just globbed into it. And then it makes the most horrifying sound possible when you stir it. It sounds like two old lesbians scissoring, basically. Like, if you ever need to get information out of me, don't waterboard me. Just stir a bowl of macaroni salad next to my ears. Macaroni board me. That's all you need to do. Like, look, if that's what qualifies as a salad in Hawaii, I'm going to take a bowl of Skittles and pour a bunch of ranch dressing on top of it and call it a fruit salad. <laughs> and also, I'm going to make meth-flavored mayonnaise. I'm going to be the Hawaiian Walter White. Or as I like to call him, Hawaiisenberg. <laughs> but I'm comedy. Um, I don't know if you can tell by my uh, Paul Giamatti-esque appearance here, but... Um, I deal with depression a lot, and um, I used to deal with it by putting as much plastic bottled vodka into my body as humanly possible. Like, at this point, my liver could do calculus. That's how bad it got. But um, I deal with it in a more healthy way. This is, this is kind of how I deal with it. But I've come up with a way, if you think someone's depressed, to diagnose their depression. This is what you do. You ask them what their favorite episode of Law & Order is. <laughs> If, they're, if they have any favorite episode of Law and Order, they're a bright eyed song away from just ending it all. That's it. You should probably call somebody. Or, even better, put them on an open mic. They probably fit in perfectly. <laughs> or, here's another one. If you think someone's depressed, ask them if they favorited a tweet on Taco Bell's Twitter page. That's, I did some research on this one. There's a tweet on Taco Bell's Twitter page and it said, Taco Bell is open, hashtag, reason to smile. Which, yeah, 
It had 300 favorites. That's, that's 300 people who have nothing to smile about in their life except the talk bells over there. No, you know what? Scratch that. That's 300 Mel Gibsons from the first Lethal Weapon movie. That's it. You guys, um, I also do not drink anymore. I've been uh, sober for almost two years now. Uh, oh, thank you. And, um, Everybody asks me, like, what do you do, Andy? What do you do with your time? Do you, do you do yoga? Do you go hiking? What do you do? My answer is Taco Bell. That's it. I eat Taco Bell. And uh, my higher power is Taco Bell, and my serenity prayer is think outside the bun. That's it. Um, but you know what? Taco Bell has a distinct lack of respect for their customer base, I found. Because last time Daddy was getting his fourth meal on, which last night, let's be honest, the an ad on the drive through screen where I ordered my food, there was an ad that popped up and it said, Taco Bell, the best decision you made all day. Which, yeah, fucking hate, right? That's, that's just like Taco Bell just spitting in your face and going, you got nothing going on, you piece of shit. Here's your trash food, dum-dum. Like, look, I don't need to be reminded that I make terrible decisions with my life. I'm already here, Taco Bell. You've won. I, I couldn't leave if I wanted to, because I'm boxed in by a motorcade of other sad, lost souls, all looking to drown their sorrows in your delicious boiled trash meat. You know? Like, you won. Don't kick me while I'm down. Like, your ad should just be a little more realistic. The ad should just say, Taco Bell, a decision? That's all it needs to say. Maybe, like, add a picture of a sloth or something, because I'm already having a terrible day. And uh, with that, that is my time. Uh, thank you guys very much. I'm Matt McDonald. <laughs>